Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Kyvol brand, that's K-Y-V-O-L, their air fryer model AF60. This is unique, it's a halogen heating air fryer, healthy oilless cooker, and it is six quarts or 5.67 liters, which is a pretty large size. That's the holding basket size, and it has ceramic coating on the basket. We're going to show that for non-stick and durability. It includes a uh, separate little pan that's uh, for browning and allows the food to be slightly offset off the base of the uh, um, holding pan there. It includes a beautiful colored food cookbook that has all kinds of nice pictures. and There's 60 recipes in there has a warranty registration card. It's 100% risk-free purchase, 30-day money-back guarantee, 18-month warranty, plus the option of six free additional months at no additional cost. The company has contact information on there, support at kyvol.com, or their customer care hotline at 1-949-878-996. Now this unit is about 14.93 pounds, it's 11.2 inches by 14.6 by 13.3 inches. It has even cooking, it uses infrared light. We're going to show what's the difference of that compared to a normal heating coil. The halogen uh, heat produces intense heat in the form of light waves, so it penetrates the food deeper and also browns things up because it has the 360 degree hot air circulation because it does have a top fan and we're going to show a close up of that also so air frying allows you to cook healthier and crispier rich flavors without all the oil and grease you can cut 85 percent of the calories and fat and a lot of times you can use spray oil on things like uh, mushrooms zucchini uh, chicken, you could get away with using spray oil and then have minimal fat and only in our potatoes also. We're going to be cooking a couple different things in here to show the functionality of this unit. Now this is a nanoscale ceramic coating and we're going to show that also and it's BPA free and Teflon free and it also allows the food to crisp up and have the non-stick ability like I mentioned. This has a touch screen and LED uh, display and a rotating knob, very easy to work with. So you could air fry, bake, grill, roast, dehydrate, reheat, and you can see the whole process through a transparent window. And the unit uh, is all insulated, so we're going to test how, how it uh, stays cool to the touch. The unit automatically will shut off, it becomes overheated. That's an auto shut off function for safety. And most of the time it's not going to do that. Uh, make sure you have about four inches in the back of the unit to allow the airflow because that's where the excess heat um, uh, leaves the unit. For cleaning, you could just clean the basket with soap and water. It's also dishwasher safe. Now this is a, uh, a stylish looking unit, square shaped, compact and it should look great in your kitchen. It'll go with a lot of your appliances because of the black color on there. It's not going to stand out. There's no silver. So I use black in my kitchen. So in my kitchen, it's going to go perfect because I've also got black on my countertops on here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, turn this on and we're going to run it for about 10 minutes just to burn off any oils that are from the manufacturing. So we're going to go to preheat, we're going to turn the unit on and we're going to turn the dial here, hit the menu button and you can see you can move it along to all the different things, french fries, toast. We're going to go to preheat and we're going to push the button in and you see it's going to go for five minutes and we're going to do that twice just to make sure we burn anything off. And if you look on the bottom of this, you can see that what's unique about it is that it's beautiful yellow color because it's producing that infrared heat using that light coil. And I'm going to show a close-up of that to let you know what it looks like. 
So here's a close-up of that coil and you could see the fan that is blowing that hot air from that bright infrared coil right there. And that's what's generating the heat as well as the photons of the light that you're seeing. That's pretty unique. So I've had the unit running now uh, for two cycles of the preheat at 400 degrees. I just want to show you, I've got a thermal gun. I'm going to show you the temperature. 160 degrees. 160 degrees. So this gets warm, but it's not burning my hand. And this top is pretty cool at uh, 86 degrees. On the side. Under 14 degrees right there. So what's happening is it's insulated and it's keeping the unit running cool. You also notice that the light will go on and off because it's regulating the temperature inside there. So when that light goes off, the coil is off and that's causing the temperature to be regulated at 400 degrees. So I want to go over the operation of this unit. You can turn it on by touching that sensor right there. You can see you have a time that you could increase by turning this knob. And you have temperature, which you could change by turning that knob. If you hit the menu button, you have the preheat we showed. You have toast, potato chips or French chips, beef, chicken. And we move across, we have reheat and defrost and dehydrate. So you can dehydrate fruit and make beef jerky, things like that. Once you get the it set to what you want, you just hit the start stop button like that. It's just that simple to operate. When the unit completes the cycle, it beeps a couple times to let you know that it's finished. Let's take a look at the inside basket here and just pull this out. And now you have access to the inside basket. And this piece comes up and out for cleaning. And that's that little shelf that elevates your food so that uh, you can get more air circulation around the food. And you can see it's relatively large inside there. There's where that six quart size comes from. Now the first thing we're gonna try is I'm gonna put some egg rolls that are already fried and they're really cold from the fridge. I'm gonna add them to this basket See right there, putting them in there, and I'm going to center them and close the drawer there. And we're just going to put it on. I'm going to look at the menu. I'm going to look for reheat, which is right there. And we're going to see how that does reheating those egg rolls. And what's really nice is because you have that clear window there, you can see as they're being reheated, in case you put too much time or temperature, you could just stop the unit by pulling it out. But I really love how you can see it's so bright with that infrared light. So I wanted to show the back of the unit. This is where the excess heat comes out. And they have it set up so that it actually goes in an upward direction, which is smart so that it doesn't blow into your wall. But again, keep four inches there so that it has proper ventilation for that heating port. Okay, so it finished and you can hear it's beeping and letting me know that the egg rolls have been uh, reheated. So here you can see the nonstick pan. There's the oil and the oil has dripped through those little holes and that way the re even the reheating of something that is fried or air fried removes more of the oil so they are right there all piping hot and delicious so there i have it cut open and they're absolutely delicious they're homemade so it says he reheated it from the fridge and it's the right temperature now to eat so i wanted to show the basket the basket itself it's got a little handle to hold it then it has this high temperature silicone plugs on the end 
and that's what keeps it in place as you're cooking. So here is a huge stack of sliced potatoes I keep the skin on and you have to got the scale zeroed out so this is one pound almost 14 ounces of potatoes and the trick I've learned is you cook them first a little bit maybe five minutes to dry them out then you could just add a very small amount of oil I'm going to be using just the spray oil olive oil on them so here they are transferred to the Kaival holder and now we're gonna cook them for a little bit before we put any kind of oil on them so I'm gonna turn the unit on hit the menu first and go to French chips right there hit the start and you see it's picked 18 minutes we're just gonna let it run we're gonna change the time here we're gonna drop it down to just about eight minutes just to dry the potatoes out at any time during the baking you can pull it out and it automatically shuts off for safety then you just put it right back in and and it continues back where it was now they're nice and dry now i'm just going to use some olive oil spray on them and toss them around a little bit that's all you need and there you go, some beautiful french fries. And I add a little parsley, salt, red pepper, and black pepper. And they're absolutely perfectly cooked and delicious. So another thing we're gonna show is we're gonna make a pasta spinach bake right here. And that Pyrex glass fits right in the Kaival unit. So here we have the casserole cooking and it uh, looks like it's almost ready there it is in the Kaival air fryer and now we're going to take it out and take a look and see how it tastes so here's the final product all cooked nice and evenly and absolutely delicious now here's another function of the the Kaival unit this rack has a lot of friction to it with the silicone pieces so you can kind of adjust the height of it. it doesn't always have to be on the bottom so here I'm going to just use the dehydrate function to make some uh, banana chips so here I'm going to turn the unit on okay, I'm going to use the menu function we're going to go to dehydrate and it's set to 160 degrees Fahrenheit and we can increase the time if we want right there it's set to 360 minutes because dehydration takes a long time. Now while it's dehydrating, you, you won't see the light coming on as much because it's a much lower temperature. Okay, so it's been going for the designated time of dehydrate, so we're gonna take them out, take a look at them. You can see it totally dried them up. And what's nice is that these aren't fried, so they're just dried bananas so there's no added fat to them so it saves you a lot of calories okay now we're going to uh, demonstrate how to cook a roast and this is a pretty big roast this is 2.72 pounds and we're going to cook this with the Kyro air fryer so here's the sirloin roast and we have it all spiced up now we're going to put it into the Kyro unit so I have the the roast, the beef roast in there and it's been cooking and I did use the beef setting it's almost finished and we're going to let it finish the cycle okay so it's got only one minute left we're going to let it uh, complete and you'll hear the alarm that goes off when it finishes so there it's shut off you can see now it runs for a little bit of time as it's cooling down so there, shut off. Now it's alerting you that it is ready. So there it is, all cooked. And I want to point out that whatever fat was in here is cooked down, and it's actually on the bottom of that little rack right there, which is nice so that you can reduce some of the fat of the cut. So you can see all the excess 
fat and liquid that came out of the roast. That's one of the advantages of the air fryer. So here I have it, and I'm gonna be slicing it. You can see. And I cooked it medium rare. And if you wanna cook it a little more, just put it back in the chival unit. But look how nicely it cooked it. It's uh, moist and tender and seared on the outside. And all the juices are kept on the inside. Worked really well. So it's easy to clean the unit. You just wash it with soap and water. And this, all these parts are dishwasher safe. You put this, everything you see in front of you here in the dishwasher. You can also clean the unit out with a cotton rag, just like that. And just put a little water on there, a little soap if you want, and just wipe the unit out like that. So what's more of our impressions about the Kaival, their air fryer, halogen heating air fryer, uh, oilless cooking. This product works well. You have all the presets on there on the menu. And you just scroll across and you can change the time on here quite easily. And you can change the temperature quite easily. So it works really well as I demonstrated to cook all those different food items. And I'm going to give this product a full five star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you learn to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helps you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.